All right, what's going on guys? So today I want to bring y'all kind of a different video than what I normally do. I um I think like in between my Pokemon videos, I want to kind of do like some gaming commentary. Just like a cool story I found in the news or um just like something cool in the gaming industry going on. I want to come on here and talk about that. So I've got a weird one for y'all today. So apparently, according to SmithsonianMag.com, the moon is rusting. <laughs> so this is like a big baffling um, occurrence to scientists. So according to SmithsonianMag.com, uh, it says, Puzzling astronomers, the moon appears to have rusty patches on its surface, despite lacking two essential rust-inducing ingredients, water and oxygen. So according to one of the scientists of a mission for a miner mineralogy mapper, mineralogy mapper um, instrument also known as M cubed that he was studying the imagery captured during the mission and noticed spectra or light being reflected off the moon's surface present at the lunar poles revealing that these areas are comprised of compositions that are different from other expanses of the moon while it is not uncommon for the moon to be covered in iron rich rocks what surprised them the most was how closely the material resembled the mineral hematite Hematite is a form of iron oxide, a reddish-brown substance we know as rust. It occurs when iron becomes exposed to oxygen and water, which prompts the original question. What ample supplies of water and oxygen, and how did it get there on the moon? So another scientist, uh, Freeman, says, At first, I totally didn't believe it. It shouldn't exist based on the conditions present on the moon. But since we discovered water on the moon, people have been speculating that there could be a greater variety of minerals than we realize and if that water had reacted with the rocks. So what exactly is causing the moon to rust? Like an old jalopy sitting in a junkyard. The scientists have come up with a few ideas, but the one that makes the most sense to them is all thanks to Earth. They found that the surfaces of the moon most affected by oxidation are the ones facing our planet. The scientists theorize that oxygen could be making the 239,000 mile journey aboard Earth's magneto tail a particle-packed magnetic wake trailing our planet like a windsock. So in conclusion, our hypothesis is that the lunar hematite is formed through oxidation of lunar surface iron by the oxygen from the Earth's upper atmosphere that has been continuously blown into the lunar surface by solar wind when the moon is in Earth's magnetotail during the past several billion years, he says. So what do y'all think about that? I mean, the moon is rusting. That sounds kind of scary, but at the same time, like, I don't think it'll really affect anything. Um, what comes to mind for me is like the gravitational fields. Um, could that be caused by the amount of iron on the moon? Or um, will the rust affect that at all? I don't think it would be like a big enough amount to affect anything here with like the tides and everything. Because I think that comes more from the mass of the moon and that is what creates the gravitational pull. But it's been a while since I took physics so I don't really know too much. Um, another thing too, uh, I believe Trump was talking about um, starting mining expeditions on the moon within the next few years so if the moon is rusting and a lot of those minerals um, could be oxidizing like they say is the time now to start mining on the moon that's something I've definitely been interested in and I uh, want to do more research about that like what exactly we could be mining from there that would be useful here on earth uh, I can't think of anything off the top of my head I don't remember any elements that were discovered on the moon and not on the earth but it's interesting. It's definitely interesting. So yeah, I just saw that headline and thought it'd be a cool uh, video to make to just come on here and talk about with you guys. So like I said before, I want to do more of these. I kind of want to transition into more of a uh, commentary channel. Because with the Pokemon things, I don't really have the resources to be putting out new like uh, new team breakdowns all, like, all the time. Like every other day like I wanted to. I thought that was something I could do, but it... Like I said, I don't have the stardust for that. <laughs> so you'll be getting one probably once a week. Um, maybe two. But we'll see. We'll just see how this goes. Uh, if you like this video, let me know down in the comments if you want me to do more of these. Like this commentary style of video. But um, yeah, if you enjoyed, drop a like and subscribe if you're not already. And I'll catch you in the next one.